which means those long flights or those long drives where you're just sitting around. Dr. Kevin Campbell is here on set with us this morning to talk about something called deep vein thrombosis or DVT as it's known for which people are at higher risk this time of year, obviously for just what we said, but what is DVT and what are some common causes? You know, DVT is a blood clot that forms in the deep circulation, particularly in the legs after long periods of sitting uh -huh. on a plane or on a train or in a car. And the risk with DVT is that a piece of the blood clot can break off, flow through the circulation, wow. go to the lungs and cause a potentially life-threatening condition called pulmonary embolus. So what are some of the symptoms if I'm traveling? Well, the things you want to look out for are redness, swelling, warmth, or pain in your calf in particular. And if you see this, you need to, you know, seek medical attention. All right. So with that being said, what do you do? I mean, besides seek medical attention, let's say I'm driving on the highway and there's a long distance between me and the hospital. You know, if you're having chest pain or shortness of breath, it may indicate that that has broken off and gone to the lungs. That's a medical emergency. You need uh -huh. to stop and call 911. If, for instance, you're just noticing these symptoms, you need to find a doctor, an urgent care, right. see your doctor when you get back. Because even two weeks after sitting for prolonged distances, you may still be at risk for DVT. All right, it might be too late to go on my, you know, post-holiday uh, diet, but what can we do to obviously prevent this in the future? One of the big things you can do for DVT is when you're traveling long distances, you can go and actually flex your calves, raise your toes uh -huh. to the sky every 20 minutes. If you're in a car, if you're in the plane, the other thing is always try to select an aisle seat because then you may be able to get up and walk once every hour. Oh, great idea. If you're driving, and this is really important, stop, take some time at the rest stop, walk around for five or 10 minutes. It's good anyway, because you don't want to get too tired and yeah. sleepy on the road. So lots of good things that we can do to prevent DVT. It is a medical emergency if it breaks off and goes to the lungs. All right. Thanks. I'll be taking a long good West to see Coast you. trip. Yes. So I'm headed out this Friday. Thanks, Doc. Some great information there. And if you've got any questions for Dr. Campbell and any of his health segments, just go to our website. It's WNCN.com and click on the Today Show, uh, Today Show tab. We've got the links to all his sites. Yeah. Those are great tips, guys. Yeah.